Hello, John. Uh, thanks for coming in today. I wanted to take some time and review with you the results from your Beck Depression Inventory that we completed. And, you know, as you know, this included a suicide scale, a depression inventory, a hopelessness scale, and an anxiety scale. So uh, the results of this report indicates that you are at imminent risk for suicide. So I would really like to explore this with you further. That's concerning. Um, you know, and in that uh, Beck Depression Inventory, you had mentioned that if you had the chance, you would end your own life. That, you know, given the chance and the opportunity, you would kill yourself. So that's obviously a, a red flag for me. Um, but then... In the uh, the suicide scale itself, your raw score was a two, indicating that you have no desire to end your life, and that if you were in imminent risk of death, you would try to save your own life. So, John, I um, see some contradictions, and I'm just wondering if maybe you didn't understand some of the questions on the different parts of the inventory. Uh, however, like I said, I am concerned for you, and I would like to ask you, you know, more about how you're feeling, um, and readdress that question or revisit that answer about if you had the chance to kill yourself you would do so um now the depression scale results indicate that you are in the severe range of de for depression you know um and this is in part from that that response previously mentioned about ending your life uh and i understand that sometimes depression is situational but i'm still concerned with you being in that severe range and i would like to to explore that further with you. Uh, hopelessness, and, hopelessness and anxiety scales, excuse me, hopelessness and anxiety scores were in the moderate range. And, uh, you know, these scores consistently provide results that state that you are depressed. Um, you are experiencing depression. And, and uh, some of these, these symptoms are physical for you, you know, like some of those panic attacks, the heart pounding, difficulty breathing, uh, feeling hot and like shaky. So, you know, when we combine the suicide and anxiety scale scores and, and the scores are in the moderate range as yours are, this is a, a flag that perhaps, you know, you might do something impulsive. Uh, so like, for example, if you're having a hard time, feeling sad, something happens, you know, you're, whatever happens that might trigger something for you, you know, uh, your dog gets sick, uh, you get stuck in traffic, um, somebody dies, somebody hurts your feelings, you don't feel like you, you did a good job, you know, any, anything that, whatever your triggers might be, I need to get to know you a little bit better, but, um, then at that moment you might be upset enough to do something impulsive that, you know, that you might not be able to turn back from. An example would be, there's this girl I know who got into an argument with her boyfriend, and she was mad. She says, I'm going to show him. Or, you know, she's just like, I just had all these feelings. I don't know what to do with them. And she, she cut her arm. You know, and it was no big deal. She had that self-harming behavior usually. So it wasn't a big deal for her to cut her arm. It was normal behavior for her. However, this time she was acting out impulsively and she cut deeper and bigger than she ever had. And she had to get seven stitches on her arm. And she later said, I didn't mean to cut that deep. I didn't mean to cut myself that big. You know, I was just so frustrated in the moment. So that was an impulsive behavior. I'm just kind of trying to give you an example of what I mean when I say that you're at risk for that impulsivity. So those are the concerns that I have and the things that I'd like to address with you in our sessions moving forward. Um, please, you know, let me know if you have any questions or if anything comes up that you think maybe you forgot to talk about or, if, uh, you know, any of the questions didn't make sense to you, you know, uh, I'm, I'm here for you and I look forward to to really getting into to helping you with this depression.